This is the women's highlights of HSBC 7's Hong Kong. Furious stuff in the opener here in the semi final. It's untidy and it's there for Kelter. Stayed in the fight and left Kelter. Now fights to the line. Fingertip yes. stuff. And Kelter. Try for a left Kelter. USA first blood in the semi final. Wow, USA didn't find touch from the kick and so it's hand to possession back to France and Jack A. And now Okemba, she's really hard to stop from here. Kershey just about does enough. And now Kelter just no. lost her feet. Still position for the French, a juggle from Jacquet, and now she's over, but is it down? Yes. France bite back through Chloe Jacquet. And some work for Rivetti up the middle, finds Ma on a great line. Seal Farnese going to try and eat up the metres, but there's that deceptive pace of Alona Ma. We talk about her power, but she's got the speed when she needs it. They found her on the edge. A wave, a salute, and a try for Alona Ma. That's a big time carry when the US really needed it in the semi final. There she is, Sullivan. Kershey. Just a little kick pass for Gray. It just holds on. And Jazz Gray on oh, the twinkle toes. She's got plenty of speed. Chloe Pell's come from a long way. Gray for the corner. Jazz Gray, Pell coming at it. Jazz Gray is going to go 80 metres with a massive target. For the United States, conversions away might not matter. 19.5, 30 seconds to go. So we're back all square, seven all in the semi-final. Cody Lane, busy on defence as always. Whether it's Shave and it was the offload for Kaslik up the middle. Setefano is not going to get her and Charlotte Kaslik will streak away. Answering straight back for Australia. That brilliant track, that familiar straight striding run of Charlotte Kaslik at the centre of the pitch. Taking all the time she's allowed and dots it down under the posts. Pody Lane gets rid of Smale and the balance is brilliant from Reese Pody Lane. Levi's going to chase, but Pody Lane will have enough to get there. And now it's New Zealand who hit back once more through the captain, Reese Pody Lane. The two captains are having a field day out here. Oh, you've got to love New Zealand Australia clashes, whatever stage of the oh, tournament. Thanks. And we're going to go into half time in this one in the semi final 14 all, New Zealand and Australia. Here goes Miller to finish it off in fine style. Georgia Miller comes to the show in the big games. And she puts New Zealand through to another cup final. What a contest between these great, great rivals. And New Zealand will go through to the decider. They concede a penalty here to Australia. Quick tap away, go France, looking to strike back in this third place match. Going herself, Valentine Lutoz, taking it upon herself. Great play from the young player. Away they go again, and here's Joanna Grise, first time with ball in hand. She didn't have a whole lot of room to move, but she doesn't need it because she's got the pace. Joanna Grise puts France in front. But France press on to attack again. Akemba looking to offload. She's got those long levers. There's some tall players in this French side. Jacquet goes her south one way. Oh, the 360 spin and then sliced open the defence. Chloe Jacquet. Oh, it's been an onslaught from the French just before and straight after half time. And now they stretch out 21 points to seven. Can't go past Grassi, no. Just swarming French defence. Now an overlap for Australia if they can work it. Here's one of the young guns on debut, the 21-year-old Bridget Clark carrying Australia to the line and getting them back into this match. 
Dutch team are just so physical. Levi, oh, Finn in the face, speaking of physical, see you later. Madison Levi gave the full force into Joanna Grise's nose. Huge Finn, huge try. That spices things up. Here's a Finn all to the face. All of a sudden, here come the Aussies. There's a reason they're the number one ranked side. Champions in so many ways. 21 plays, 19, just over a minute to go. One shot for Australia. Nathan pops it for Tegan Levi again. Ball there for Puppy. Finds Clark. The hands are wonderful. The hands are superb. The acceleration from Nathan. Something off tackles. Faith Nathan to win it. Off low for Kessler. Just holds on. And Manny Levi will do it for Australia. Ecstatic stuff. The devastation for France. But oh my. What a fight back from 21-7 down with five with just over five to play. And the Aussie flag flies. That was special. An electric atmosphere for the USA in the blue, New Zealand in the white. This is what they play for, gold at stake. Underway in the Women's Cup final off the boot of Alev Kelter. It's a soaring kickoff. Miller and King working in the middle. Now Georgia Miller tries to get around and she's just so elusive. The way she can slide through tackles. And Georgia Miller once again in a final comes up with a big play. She'll dot it down for the opening try. New Zealand with first points. New Zealand reset again. Reload once more through Pody Lane. She's going to give it early to Blythe and just the space. They gave her too much room. Blythe flies into the corner. Oh, what a delightful ball. Onto the chest from Miller to Blythe. Blythe does it for the second time in this match in stylish fashion. Quick set, Kinnett, and then she finds Cedric, and that is just what the US needed on the stroke of half time. Spiff Cedric in. Woodman Whitcliffe is there, and she's going to go to Michaela Blythe. Fingertip control, and another flying finish in the corner, and it's another hat trick final for Michaela Blythe. Advantage, six off the ball. And now Felix Hotham will switch, and there's another big gap for Mahina Paul to power her way through. She's a really good athlete, Mahina Paul, relishing a try, another try in front of the South Stand. New Zealand are champions in Hong Kong again. And in what style have they done it? An absolutely dominant performance. Well, they say it's Fiji's second home, but New Zealand teams don't mind playing here either. A very special place for the Blackburn Sevens and the All Black Sevens. Back to back for New Zealand, men and women in Hong Kong.